Auto Line on the Road from CES is brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric. Make the move to mobility. Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. And by Bosch, invented for life. When you're at CES in Vegas, you never know who you're going to run into just before dinner. And so we've got three terrific people that we want to interview right now, including Chris Ermson, the CEO of a new startup called Aurora. We'll get into more of that in a minute. Johan Youngworth, who is the chief digital officer with the Volkswagen Group. And Sterling Anderson, also with Aurora. And we're going to get into more of all that, as I said. But... JJ, let's start with you. You just signed a big deal with these two guys, all about autonomy, and uh, bring us up to speed. Why did you go with these two at Aurora? So, first of all, uh, I think this is uh, one of the best founders teams uh, of a uh, Silicon Valley startup company. Uh, Aurora Innovation actually has uh, the great potential to develop one of the best self-driving systems in the world. And we want to work with the best talents, the the best uh, uh, people around the world to actually make self-driving vehicles reality really really fast also here in the US uh, and across our brands and for me you know clearly working with Aurora has been a great pleasure we already work now since you know almost a year and the last six months we have integrated their technology in our first platforms and it's a pleasure to work with them. That's great okay what an endorsement okay Chris uh, you've got a startup Uh, you're not exactly new to this business JJ just said that you've got maybe the best technology going. What's different with what you're doing versus the others? Well, I think the biggest thing for us is the, both the, the founding team that we were able to start with and then the team we've built around it. And so we have people who really deeply understand machine learning. They understand the challenges that, it, uh, that you have to solve to bring self-driving cars to the market. And you know, now we have a, an amazing partner here with Volkswagen. So it's exciting. Sterling, Big question in the industry right now, at least from my vantage point, make or buy. We see a number of automakers trying to develop all this technology in-house. Clearly, you've got a partner and and another one, too, with Hyundai. How do you make the argument to automakers that they ought to buy from you rather than do it in-house? That's a good question. So I think we bring a complementary set of skills, right? So, you know, JJ, Volkswagen Group have shown over now nearly 100 years an incredible ability to build these complex machines at scale. Um, that's, a, that's a capability and a skill set that we don't have. Uh, in contrast, we do have a skill set specifically in self-driving vehicles and their development that we think we can bring to, gear, to bear. And by playing our respective positions, us helping develop the self-driving system that we understand so deeply, and Volkswagen building the vehicles that they understand at a very fundamental level, um, this is a very complementary set of teams um, that can move faster together. JJ, you're the chief digital officer for the Volkswagen Group, not just the Volkswagen brand. How do you plan to deploy this into so many of the other different brands, especially on the truck side, too? Yes, so uh, first of all, you know, we are looking at mobility as a service. Mobility as a service uh, is a completely new business, uh, and uh, it plays in five layers, actually. So we have the self-driving system providers, now Aurora uh, for us. We have the automotive OEMs, our brands, you know, producing, developing these, uh, you know, different kinds of specially designed, you know, purpose designed vehicles like urban pods, urban shuttles, even, you know, trucks without cabin eventually. Uh, And then we have the fleet operator. Um, We have the uh, mobility provider like Moya, which we, you know, just founded and and set up for ride hailing, ride pooling and other services. And then the content provider. So it's clearly, you know, for us, we want to be the best partners for cities. This is a city by city by city by city business eventually and uh, you know as I just mentioned you know we, we want to be in the driver's seat and we want to be able to offer cities all in one you know solutions and uh, clearly now with Aurora you know we have a great partner to actually bring this all together and and be able to develop you know different kinds of purpose designed vehicles you know can think of this you know, like a room in your home. Once the steering wheel and the pedals and the cockpit goes away, you know, your room or your, your, your actually, um, your vehicle can become a, a room like uh, at home. You know, it could become your gaming room, your fitness room, your wellness room, your uh, office, uh, your lounge, uh, your uh, movie theater, anything. So that's really something I'm looking forward to. And, 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 you know, there is a place for, you know, several of our brands to really, you know, play big in this game. Very interesting. Okay, so Volkswagen's going to be building the cars. It's going to be providing uh, mobility services. What's Aurora's business case? Selling the hardware and software, or does it go beyond that? So for Aurora, we're really about building the driver. 
And for us, that means thinking about both the, the software that actually runs on the compute and, and interprets the data from the sensor, but also figuring out what are the right sensors, what is the right kind of computation that's there. And then there's the data services that will come in to help support that vehicle. So uh, whether it be part of the mapping information or interpretation of that or just historic information about where the vehicles have been. And so we'll focus on that part, and then we'll work with great partners to actually get it to market at scale. Uh -huh. And Sterling, uh, data monetization is one of the big things that this industry is looking at. Does Aurora play a role in that, or do you leave that to the OEMs? We're going to support our partners in that, right? So at the end of the day, the data that comes off of our partners' vehicles belongs to our partners. Um, to the degree that that's helpful in uh, developing the self-driving system, we will certainly be using that as we develop this for our partners. But at the end of the day, you know, the opportunity for JJ to create some of these experiences that he's describing is really an opportunity for Volkswagen Group. Very good. Look, I could talk to you guys all night long. This is just a quick snapshot of what you're into, but thanks so much for your time right now. Thank you. At Magna, we take the word impossible as a challenge. Whether it's autonomy, electrification, new mobility, or beyond, we make the impossible possible every day. Magna. Science fiction thinking, automotive reality. Visit us in Las Vegas at CES.